they will never let you you know be happy you know all by yourself they will stage things in such a way they will lay out things in such a way that your happiness is always linked to their happiness if they are happy then you deserve to be happy otherwise there is no happiness for you if they are sad you are supposed to feel sad as well and go out of your way to make them happy yeah you have to make them feel happy as a parent even though they are abusing you they are dehumanizing you they are you know exploiting you mistreating you but still you are expected to make them feel like an amazing parent you are expected to thank them worship them and tell them mom you're such an amazing person daddy you're such an amazing dad hey everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about you know disturbing ways narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so narcissistic parents are those narcissistic individuals who choose to you know use their procreation ability to you know uh, create more supply sources and you know they keep harvesting the supply you know till the time they are you know alive yeah because they breed for return yeah they don't breed for altruistic reasons is all about return return and return i'll do the bare minimum short term investment and i'll keep harvesting for the rest of my life that's how narcissistic parents think yeah they will do the bare minimum you know for you and they will you know uh, guilt trip you they will make you feel obligated yeah they will make you feel as if your needs you know i mean you prioritizing your needs is a bad thing you should prioritize the needs wants and desire of the narcissistic parent if you prioritize your needs you are being selfish mean ungrateful you know how things are so narcissistic parents are basically you know uh, egg donors and sperm donors yeah they are not parent they don't parent you they don't know what parenting is they are just into you know rearing they are just into breeding and harvesting supply yeah that's how things are i know a lot of people will say no but they are parents and this and that and we get to hear a lot of bullshit in society you know uh, all those cultural and religious bs that you know parents are second god you know heaven lies under the feet of your narcissistic parents your parent is the gateway to heaven and all that you know uh, bs so you know um you know uh, there are bad parents it's a real thing yeah bad parents are you know not parents they are just you know uh, farmers yeah narcissistic families are narcissistic farms where the narcissist you know harvest supply that's it it's not family they are not parent yeah so it's high time that we you know uh, accept the things the way it is yeah rather than you know um, maligning you know the term family and parenting yeah if we are addressing narcissistic parents as parents you know in a way we are maligning you know parenting we are maligning this term you know parent yeah it's uh, you know uh, a bad thing you know for the healthy parents out there if you are addressing narcissists as parents as well yeah because uh, parenting is healthy by default and parenting is an amazing thing there are healthy parents out there you know who are there like your friend who are there like your backbone who are there you know uh, through all the thick and thin who are there to teach you and guide you who are there to let you learn from your mistakes yeah so you know uh, things are different in narcissistic households yeah so i mean i don't you know consider narcissistic parents to be parents they are just breeders and uh, you know uh, there is only one parenting and that's healthy parenting yeah parenting is always healthy yeah parents are healthy yeah if you are dealing with narcissistic parents they are unhealthy individuals who decided to become parent because they wanted to create their own supply sources with same genetic makeup someone who is not going to betray them and you know they can keep harvesting supply till eternity yeah now coming to the disturbing ways narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children narcissistic parents um, have extreme sense of entitlement they lack empathy it's all about them 
they have extreme hunger and craving for attention and admiration they have inability to express remorse or gratitude they have inability to you know self reflect narcissistic parents are all about i me myself yeah and you know their way is the right way there is no other way and uh, that's pretty much how things are they have brought you in this world and now you need to keep you know doing things for them they did not bring you in this world so that you can have an independent life of your own do things your way enjoy your life mm -mm. that's not what you know their you know goal is yeah their goal is that you keep serving them you keep you keep betraying your wants desires and everything and you keep serving them without asking any question yeah you keep giving them second chances third chances fourth chances you keep serving them you know and you keep uh, you know uh, being loyal to them you, you just you know devote your entire life you know uh, in their service yeah that's how things are yeah so narcissistic parents do a lot of nasty things with their kids yeah and this is because of lack of empathy they really don't care you know how their you know action and influence is going to impact the child's growth and his adult life her adult life they really don't care all what they want is supply anyhow and they are going to throw silent treatment they are going to guilt trip you they are going to triangulate things emotionally manipulate you they are going to you know uh, 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 withhold love and affection they will do all sorts of things to harvest supply they brought you in this world so that they can harvest supply they did not bring you in this world so that you can have a life of your own no they will never let you you know be happy you know all by yourself they will stage things in such a way they will lay out things in such a way that your happiness is always linked to their happiness if they are happy then you deserve to be happy otherwise there is no happiness for you if they are sad you are supposed to feel sad as well and go out of your way to make them happy yeah you have to make them feel happy as a parent even though they are abusing you they are dehumanizing you they are you know exploiting you mistreating you but still you are expected to make them feel like an amazing parent you are expected to thank them worship them and tell them mom you're such an amazing person daddy you're such an amazing daddy yeah so you know um, that's how things are in narcissistic household now coming to the different ways narcissistic parents dehumanize their children the first way is you know by seeing their children as extension of themselves narcissistic parents often see their children as mere reflection of their own desire yeah and you know uh, they in this process they disregard their child's individuality and autonomy yeah they see their kids as an extension of themselves my kid will like what i like my kid will hate what i hate my kid will do what i want my kid will not do anything that i don't approve of yeah and in a way you know it disregards you know the kids you know individuality and autonomy and that's really bad yeah the kids growth is stunted yeah the kid is unable to develop self esteem self worth sense of self all of those good stuff is missing yeah because you know you treat him you know in a absolute horrible way you just treat him as a part of you you really don't care about his feelings you really don't care about his likes dislikes his wants his desires you just don't care all what you care about is what he or she can do for me yeah and that is something which is very dehumanizing that is something which you know uh, dehumanizes you know the child yeah you are treating him not like a human you are just treating him like a slave you're treating her like a slave yeah so you know seeing the children as an extension of themselves is you know one of the ways narcissistic parents dehumanize their children the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children is you know by seeing their children as trophies for display they use their children to showcase success only valuing them when they fulfill their parents need for admiration and status so till the time you are able to give them what they want out of you till the time you are able to reflect them as an amazing parent till the time you know you are you know uh, being successful and they can bag in attention and admiration and all of the 
you know attention you know from the others yeah uh, after all she's my daughter after all he's my son so you know till the time you're able to supply them with that i mean it's okay but uh, the moment you stop you know giving them those things uh, they are going to withhold love and affection they are going to mistreat you they are going to do all sorts of nasty thing with you yeah and uh, that's very hurtful for the child yeah so narcissistic parents you know see their kids as trophies for display so if you're doing good they're going to brag about it they're going to say well you have got no idea how much i've suffered and look where he is it's because of me look where she is it's because of me yeah so you know uh, using kids as trophies for display is you know another way you know with which narcissistic parents you know dehumanize their children the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their children is by you know using their kids as emotional dumpsters narcissistic parents unload their own unresolved trauma and frustration onto their kids turning them into emotional dumping grounds yeah they are victim into emotional dumping and you know they really don't care if the kid is you know uh, mature enough to hear what i have to vent it's just that you know they just vent yeah it's my child i can vent i can do anything i can you know uh, emotionally dump and that's it yeah they really don't care how you know your emotional dumping is going to impact the child's growth yeah they really don't care about that so children are like emotional toilet for narcissistic parents and you know uh, by treating the children like emotional dumpsters like an emotional toilet narcissistic parents you know dehumanize their children yeah. the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children is you know by seeing their children as lifelong servants they view their children as permanent caretakers expecting them to cater to their emotional and physical needs without question yeah, and that's quite dehumanizing kids have a life of their own let them grow and you know move out and have a life of their own start their own family but narcissistic parents are like parasites they are going to you know be on your head they are going to you know keep guilt tripping you they are going to you know keep manipulating you they will never leave you alone they will never set you free because they breed you for return yeah so they treat you like a loyal servant they want you to you know uh, be their emotional crutches they want you to you know uh, take care of their emotional and physical needs and you know no questions in return yeah so keep doing you know uh, what they want out of you and that's it betray your own life betray your personal life you know uh, let your personal life you know go for a flying f and that's it but keep serving the narcissistic parent yeah so you know this is another way you know uh, how these narcissistic parents you know actually you know Uh, dehumanize their children by treating their you know children as lifelong servants let them have a life of their own healthy parents don't treat you that way healthy parents don't burden you with responsibilities healthy parents will tell you son this is the best i can do and now you are free go ahead you know start a family do what you want in life yeah we are there yeah that's how things are in a healthy family but with narcissistic families they are going to be like a parasite yeah you know there is nothing that can you know help you get rid of them yeah apart from going no contact yeah they will keep on you know triggering you they will keep on manipulating you they'll keep on hoovering you they'll keep on baiting you they have a lot of tricks up their sleeve the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children is you know by uh, you know uh, treating them like a narcissistic supply source yeah so children are seen as constant source of validation existing solely to stroke the parents ego solely to please and validate the parent yeah and uh, you know fulfill their need for control that's it just like a puppet a brainless brain dead puppet yeah who's ready to do anything to please his you know uh, master who's ready to do anything to please his narcissistic parent yeah so you know uh, this in a way dehumanizes the child the child has a life of his own the child might you know have his own you know uh, needs wants desire and you know you cannot you know keep uh, you know controlling his life you cannot keep on you know uh, pulling the strings and you know keep treating him like an infant yeah you need to let them grow in a healthy way 
they will not let you grow and evolve in a healthy way they will keep on controlling they will keep on manipulating they will keep on guilt tripping and you know they will keep on making you feel obligated yeah so that you keep prioritizing them you let them do the dirty dance and that's it and you keep telling them thank you mom thank you dad you're an amazing daddy you're an amazing mommy the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children is by you know viewing their kids as objects to mold so narcissistic parents believe their children should be shaped into perfect version of themselves yeah and you know this in a way crushes the child's you know personality to fit their you know warped expectations unrealistic expectations yeah so kids to these narcissistic parents are like you know clay that they can you know mold and model into anything yeah and uh, you know they really don't care how it impacts the you know kids life it's all about them they bring you in this world to serve them and not to have a life of your own, own the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their own children is by you know viewing their children as rivals for attention so narcissistic parents often compete with their own children yeah for attention and you know they see their own children you know as threats to their spotlight rather than their loved ones yeah, so if they see that the son is successful, if they see that the daughter is beautiful, if they see that the daughter is doing something, you know, uh, in a better way, if the son is doing something in a better way, they will, you know, uh, come in and start giving you, you know, uh, backhanded compliments. They will, you know, credit hog and, you know, they will see you as a competition. Yeah, they will not uh, validate you and encourage you and motivate you. Instead, they will belittle you. And this is because there's only one best person in the family and that's the narcissistic parent yeah and everyone else is you know you know not good enough everyone else is just there to learn from the narcissistic parent and serve the narcissistic parent yeah so you know um, healthy parents feel good when their kids are successful when their kids do you know better than them yeah uh, it makes them feel good that uh, see I mean, uh, my kid is doing so well and they encourage you, motivate you, you know, uh, to be your own unique self and, you know, do things, uh, you know, the way how, you know, it's uh, convenient for you, the way how it is okay and possible for you. Yeah, with narcissistic parents, uh, they want you just to serve them. They don't want you to bag in any attention, admiration and compliments. Yeah. So, you know, whenever they see that you are doing good, whenever they see that, you know, uh, you are in the limelight, they are going to come and steal this show. They are going to belittle you, give you backhanded compliments. They are going to credit hog and they are going to tell you, well, you are where you are because of me. Yeah? If I wouldn't have put you in that school, you wouldn't have been where you are now. Yeah, so narcissistic parents, you know, view their kids as rival and that's very dehumanizing. Yeah, you should not see your kids as rival. Instead, you should encourage them, motivate them and, you know, uh, see them as your loved ones and not as a competition and rival. Yeah, but do these narcissistic parents care? The answer is no. It's all about them. Yeah, they want to be, you know, uh, the center of the universe. Yeah. And everyone else should learn from them, even though they are worthless piece of shit. But children, others, everyone should, you know, bow down to them. Everyone should worship them and learn from them and tell them what an amazing parent they are. The other disturbing way narcissistic parents, you know, dehumanize their children is, you know, with emotional manipulation tools. They use their children's emotions as pawns in their games, exploiting their vulnerabilities to manipulate others around them. So narcissistic parents you know, are big time into, you know, uh, emotionally manipulating their children. This is basically to keep the child on hook. This is basically to, you know, uh, exploit the kid's vulnerability. Yeah. And what are those vulnerabilities? I mean, maybe the kid is a little shy. Maybe, you know, the kid loves the parent. And, you know, all of these are vulnerabilities that the narcissistic parents, you know, uh, will not hesitate in using. To further you know uh, control and manipulate the child yeah so you know they might you know push you into situation where you know you have to deal with uh, people with whom you are not comfortable yeah and this is basically to you know uh, exercise control this is basically to you know uh, tell you as to who the boss is so if you are not going to listen to me I might put you in uncomfortable situation and position yeah 
and knowing that you know you are a little introverted knowing that you don't like you know such surrounding knowing that you are a little shy they will push you into such things the moment they will know that you love them they are going to use that as well they are going to withhold love and affection yeah and they are going to train you that you need to listen to me you need to do things my way and only then you are going to get you know my love and affection which in reality is crumbs but you know that's how you know things are so narcissistic parents are big time into using you know their kids vulnerabilities to control and manipulate them and the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their children is with invisible burdens so narcissistic parents may see their kids as burdens that hold them back denying you know their children affection while blaming them for their own failure and inconvenience so narcissistic parents are going to keep reminding the child you know all those subtle payback reminders keep telling the child mm, you are not good enough you have got no idea how much i have suffered you have got no idea because of you i couldn't pursue this career because of you i had to stay in this marriage because of you i had to do this because of you i had to sacrifice this so you know they will create all of this invisible burden this is basically to make the child feel obligated this is basically to make the child feel indebted and you know uh, make the child you know forever compliant to their wants needs and requirement yeah so narcissistic parents are big time into you know using this emotional burden yeah and you know they are going to blame the child for their own failure they might have done some mistake they might not have done things in a right way and they might have failed you know uh, because of you know uh, reasons which are solely their own yeah but they are going to do a number on the child they are going to tell the child well i failed because of you i suffered this because of you i went through this because of you yeah and that's how they trap the child that's how they control and manipulate the child into you know uh, obedience and compliance for the rest of the life yeah the other disturbing way narcissistic parents dehumanize their children is you know with collateral damage so when things you know go wrong narcissistic parents view their children as scapegoats yeah projecting their own shortcoming onto them without remorse yeah so i mean narcissistic parents might goof up things narcissistic parents might you know uh, do mistake or you know mess things up and you know they have got punch bags they have got emotional toilet they have got scapegoats at home so you know the best thing is uh, you know uh, blame the child the best thing is you know uh to use the child as a scapegoat to use the child as a you know a punch bag yeah all of this happened because of you yeah only because i had to get this and this for you i had to go through all of that only because of you i you know suffered this and that yeah so you know they will project their own shortcomings you know onto their children without remorse yeah they just don't care you know how it's going to impact the child's self worth self esteem sense of self no you know they have bred you and they will use you however they wish yeah whether it is you know as an emotional toilet as a punch bag as a doormat i mean as a pseudo husband as a pseudo wife whatever you know uh, you know they want yeah so you know they will treat you however they wish and please and that's it because they breed you for return they you know uh, brought you in this world so that you can serve them and not the other way around and have a life of your own so yes these were you know some of the disturbing ways narcissistic parents dehumanize their children in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye